I was gonna save this video for tomorrow, but <laughs> you're getting a two for today. What is up, Finn fans? Got an injury updates for you guys. If you haven't already checked earlier today's video, go check earlier today's video. Uh, I talk, go into extensive details about what the Dolphins need to do to beat the Arizona Cardinals in a game that it's not out of the realm of possibility to beat them, even with some of these injury updates that I have for you guys. So if you want to pause this and then go watch that and come back, you can. Or if you can, if you want to watch this and be like, hey, I have a better understanding of what the injuries look like. Let me go back and listen to what Doug has to say. Sure. But go check it out. It mean the world to me. But as you could tell by the title, not that one, Doug, to Tonka Vailoa is back. He is back. The Dolphins announced Tua Tungavello will start week eight versus Arizona to no shock to anybody who knew what was going on inside the building or to anyone who kind of used their detective abilities to induce uh, what was going on. Because like I said to you guys, since his injury, he traveled with the team, which you don't do in concussion protocol and you shouldn't do when you have a concussion or show symptoms of a concussion. He has been throwing with Odell Beckham for the past couple of weeks. You don't do that unless you're far along in concussion protocol. He practiced, which you don't do unless you're far along in concussion protocol. And yesterday he had pads on running through practice. Again, that is literally stage five of concussion protocol. And lo and behold, that man is out of concussion protocol and he will play against the Arizona Cardinals. Now, some people are like, well, they shouldn't let him play. Or I've had people be like, well, he's going to get hurt again. I'm like, why put that out there? Don't you want to win? Don't you want this man to stay healthy? Don't you want this man to have fun? Like why why put that out there? there? There's so many like it really reminds me of that guy from Major League, the um Cleveland Indians fan who just loves the team at first, then he hates them and he's like, Oh, we suck. We're gonna suck. This sucks. Everyone sucks. And then a wild thing comes out, he's like, Ah, it's wild. Like, just why? Why? It just what 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 enjoyment do you get out of that? I don't get it. Anyway, so Tua will be playing. Hopefully, that gives us the boost we need to the offense because the defense is taking a big shot, and this might be a shootout. Hopefully, a shootout that we win, and hopefully, a shootout like the Chargers game where our offense went off, and all of a sudden we could be like, "Wow, look at that!" Um, because unfortunately, Zach Sealer will not be playing this game, and Zach Sealer might be week to week. It popped up today that Zach Sealer is dealing with an eye injury, right? And that's all they said. They didn't say anything more than an eye injury. So a lot of us were like, an eye injury? What, do you get poked in the eye or something? And, you know, what happened? Why, why, why? And for a good amount of time, no one really knew the extents of the eye injury. So we're all sitting here thinking, like, an eye injury? Did he get, like, again, did he get poked in the eye? Did this happen? That happened? What happened? Well, unfortunately, it seems like he might have a fractured bone in his orbital socket. That sucks. Now, how it happened, I don't know, because again, they got a face mask, as you can see from the helmet. Grab one for you guys. You can see. Oh. So these are legit helmets, as you can see by these tags. It literally says, warning, do not remove this card until helmet issue to a player has read and understood the warning on the back and everything. So these are legit helmets that they use you could see the space in between here it's not that big how did he how did he fracture his orbital socket whose hand like you gotta get your hand in there like you gotta get your hand who who got in there on his orbital socket that's what i want to know like what the crap -ola happened that he has a potential fracture in his orbital socket. So he is week to week. They're going to see if he needs to have surgery on it. Um, it's not just a poke in the eye. It's just not, a, you know, a scratched retina or cornea or anything like that. It is something serious with, again, the orbital socket, which is kind of this. If you feel your bone here, that's kind of the orbital socket. That happens when you sometimes you get punched in the face. You will break your orbital socket, and you and, and it sucks, and your eye really swells up, and you can't see anything. So, it's nothing uh, to laugh about. Because at first we were like, "What are you poked in the eye?" So he's dealing with something. 
And Liam Meikenberg came out and said it wasn't him because he was in the vicinity. But apparently from the beat writers that were there, he like yelled out in pain. So this is something serious. And again, unfortunately, now we're out Bradley Chubb, we're out Jalen Phillips, and now we're out Sealer. When it rains, it pours on us Dolphin fans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if the Dolphins can win this game and kind of stay in contention, again, Crosby, you know, make a trade at the deadline, bring in a defensive lineman because they're they're dropping like flies, absolutely dropping like fries. Hope fries flies. Hopefully, Seal will be all right. Hopefully, we can get him back next week against Buffalo. It's not that serious of an injury. Hopefully, it's not a fracture. Hopefully, it's just some type of bruising, but. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Cater Kohu is no go, and uh, Storm Duck seems like an outside shot to make the game. So it seems like it's going to be Ethan Bonner and Cam Smith, which I'm excited to see Cam Smith get a start, which means that Cam Smith and Tua Tungavella will be activated off of the IR, which means we have to clear two spots. One of them is definitely going to be Tyler Huntley put on the IR, and the other one is probably going to be one of the the lower down guys being released or moved to the practice squad. They have to be released and then brought back to the practice squad. So it seems like that is going to be your slot corner with having Fuller and um, Jalen Ramsey on the exterior. Hill and Waddle. I know a lot of you guys have noticed that Hill popped up with the foot. Waddle, I think, popped up with a quad. And everyone's like, are they going to play this, this, and that? And again, like I told you guys, if you haven't watched earlier today's video, go back and watch earlier today's video. When they don't participate or when they're limited, because there's don't participate, which means they didn't participate in practice, and then there's a limited. Limited means they just do less than 100% of their normal routine or normal reps. So again, like I said in earlier today's video, I'm going to watch it. So they do like 80 reps or 80 drills or 80 snaps or whatever, and they only do 78. They have to be put on there. It's limited. Hill and Waddle will play. Mike McDaniel came out and he said he fully expects Hill and Waddle to play. They're probably both going to get a rest today um, and rest up that foot and quad, I think, were the two injuries. The even better news is Javon Holland and Emmanuel Ogba will be playing on Sunday as well. So we lose out on Sealer, but we gain Holland and Ogba, which will help. And Clay Campbell also already came out and he said, listen, um, I'm going to uh, have to play more snaps. So it is what it is. Um, he's been a beast. Hopefully he can stay. I'm not even going to say it, but next man up. And unfortunately, we're in a situation where it is um, next man up. But that is the news. That is the update on the injury front. No sealer. No cater Kohu. In pops Cam Smith. In pops Ethan Bonner. Holland is go. Agba is a go. Hill and Waddle will play. And Tua Tungvalu is back. We get our starting quarterback back. And, um, you know, hearing great things from practice, but it is practice. And, you know, you see the excitement from Hill. You see the excitement from Waddle. You see the excitement from all of these guys. Um, hopefully this, again, puts a spark in the offense. And our, and our aerial offense really takes off against a very bad aerial defense and a very bad rushing defense. Um, if we can get a few stops, if it goes the way of the Chargers game last year where it's just a lot of scoring back and forth, if we can get the stops we need on defense, because it's going to be hard going against James Conner and um, Kyler Murray, two very mobile guys, and one of them's obviously a running back. If we could shut that down and get us a lead of like 14 to 10 points, then all of a sudden they probably won't run it as much. And they'll really start focusing on the aerial aspect of it. And that will bode well for us. So there is a lot going on and a lot to do. So, yeah. Real quick before I get out of here to the patrons, if you didn't know, uh, I put a new video out the other day. Some behind the scenes information that I got from the Miami Dolphins when it comes to the GM, when it comes to a bunch of other things. So if you want to go check that out, it is over on the Patreon. Patreon is linked in the description below. Memberships, you will get a special video as well really soon. And I will be shouting out on on Sunday's live stream, at the beginning of the live stream, I will be shouting out new members and patrons that have joined in the past month. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I will see you Monday. Uh, something Sunday. Monday. Sunday at 1 o'clock. Uh, I will make a short tomorrow. And yeah, on that, like usual, stay classy.
Jag fint så.